Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing our final break of the night and it's going to be a little soccer. 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer 4 box random country break number 3 from jazbeeshobbyland.com Big thanks to all these folks for getting into the action. There are the countries plus the uh, combos. There's the Excel spreadsheet. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. 3 and a 1 4 times. 1, 2, 3 and a 1. 4 times. Thanks, random.org. Low dice roll. Davey down to Moody. Three and a one, four times for the countries. One, two, three, and a one, four times. Spain down to Norway, Saudi Arabia. The Saudis are in the World Cup. We're not. Can you believe that? All right, Spain, Japan, Korea, France, or Spain for Davey. I thought Moody had all three of those. Japan, Korea, France for Moody. Rexy got Germany, I think again, right? Jason Launer, Serbia, Senegal, Russia, Netherlands, and Morocco. Are, are the Moroccans in the World Cup and we're not? Rex with Croatia, Hayes with Argentina, Argentina? Argentina, Nigeria, and Panama. Uh, Victor with Portugal. Hayes with Brazil, Davy with Wales, Switzerland, Tunisia, uh, Sweden for Big Boys 007, Rex, Last Spot Mojo, Austria, and Chile, Shannon with Denmark, Egypt, Moody with England, Davy with Iceland, uh, The Todd Father with Italy and Iran, and Uruguay, Anthony with Costa Rica, Daniel Shin with Poland, Peru, Maria with Austria, Belgium, Sebastian, United States, Nathan with Mexico, El Tri, Shannon, Rex with Colombia, and Moody with Norway and the Saudis. Believable. Believable. Like how many people do they have in that country compared to how many people we have? Talent and, and just talent wise, the pool is much bigger. It's crazy that any of these small teams it's like Iceland is in the World Cup. Unbelievable. Iceland. Can you imagine LeBron James as a striker? That's, that's what <coughs> Aaron Judge and LeBron James as striker, or Mike Trout as a striker. That kind of speed. All right, I think Victor was looking for Mexico earlier. So, Fat Package, if you want to move Mexico to Team Zamora. Otherwise, or Germany, Brazil. Otherwise, trade window is closed. We'll give it a few seconds before we re to before we officially close it. Hayes is gonna stick with Brazil. Where did I oh, the knife is in my pocket right here? Alright, well wild wild fat packages. Oh fat package sticking with Mexico. No Australia, Belgium for him. All right, trade window is officially closed now. All right, good luck, everybody. Yeah, Ar Iran is, is, is Iran in the World Cup? I gotta look this up, hang on. I think they actually are. Yeah, they they play Morocco. I think combined those two countries are maybe this have the population of Los Angeles. Maybe. It's just that's just crazy. It's crazy talk to me.
Well, at least, at least uh, Christian Pulisic is like 18 or 19 years old, so he'll have a couple World Cup cycles um, in him before all said and done. By then, within four years, when we go, where, where's the next one? Next one is in like Qatar. Yeah. So by then, the U.S. should be in ship shape. I would actually kind of, kind of want to go to that World Cup. Also, this is the that 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 uh. The World Cup in Qatar will be the first World Cup in history not to be held in May, June, or July. Because it'd be so, like, GD hot there, right? So they're, they're holding it in, um, in, like, December, I think. Yeah, I think it starts late November to uh, just before, just, I think, around Thanksgiving for us. Just before Christmas, I think the World Cup final is on the 18th of December. And that's just kind of weird. It'll be weird to see a wintertime World Cup. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for the fill. Thanks for hanging with me. Appreciate it. There's Pedro for España. There is Sergio Aguero. I thought that was Messi for a second. Is that Marcus Rashford? New or no, it's not numbered. I thought it was. These are not numbered, but you know, obviously we'll set that aside and make sure that one's sleeved up because it's Cristiano Ronaldo. That Pedro, 35 out of 65. These are not numbered. I feel like they should be, but they're not. Remember Enzo the Baker in Godfather? It's me, Enzo the Baker. Jaime Pinedo, Mojo Refractor. So each one of these boxes either has a low numbered parallel or an autograph, but it doesn't guarantee an auto. 102 out of 199, Alvaro Morata for Spain. So a couple Spanish, where's my list? Couple inserts for Spain that go to uh, that go to Davy. See, this is a different color, but yeah, it's still. And we've got Luis Hernandez for Mexico for L three. This 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 club is our best hope for 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 North America. This team right here, Egypt with Liverpool's Mohamed Salah. Big fan of that guy. I'm a Liverpool supporter, so he has been pretty incredible in the Premier League. And um it may may carry us through <laughs> to the to the Champions League final, which will be pretty amazing. Yeah, legend right here. Tim Cahill, an Australian legend. Tim Cahill. He played for Everton for a while. All right. That was box one. Nice start for Mexico. That goes to the fat package.
Yeah, Sala, you could make a case, well, for Ballon d'Or, maybe? Or is that just me being a biased Liverpool supporter? But if he had, if Egypt has a good World Cup, if they, if Egypt over, you know, plays over expectations in the World Cup, I think Mohamed Salah would have a, well, let, let's say, let's say Liverpool, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but let's say Liverpool win the Champions League. And let's say Mohamed Salah, you know, takes Egypt to the quarterfinals and maybe beat a club that they maybe weren't supposed to beat in like the first knockout stage or something like that. I, like I think I think Ballon d'Or is definitely a possibility. I they, I would not count that out. That that would not be crazy. I think Champions League would be key. Would be the key step, but but I don't want to get ahead of myself because Liverpool still have to go to Rome to play in Rome against AS Roma. And the last time Roma, AS Roma went like one, four, or three or four goals down. They were playing Barcelona. Barcelona is a much better club than Liverpool. And Roma came back and beat them. Uh, it was a huge upset. I'm pretty sure that AS Roma Barca game, I think Roma were like plus may have been plus 700, plus 800 or something crazy like that and to, to win that match. I, and I don't know what the odds were to advance. I think just to win, just winning wouldn't have done it for them. They had to score a lot more goals. So not feeling super confident. And then Liverpool will still have to face Real Madrid or Bayern Munich in the Champions League final, which will be, which will be tough too. All right, box two is Christian Eriksen. Raheem Sterling, former Liverpool man. It's Man City now. Marquinhos. And connections. The rainbow connection? Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Deli Ali and Marcus Rashford. What's their connection? Aside from the fact they play on the same team. Delhi uh, connected for his first FIFA World Cup qualifying goal versus Malta as at Rashford. Oh, that's the connection. They do represent young core right there. That goes to England, which goes to Moody with the three lions. Everybody, Moody, remember the World Cup song that New Order had? World in Motion was the song. If you like New Order, it's a good listen. Probably one of the best World Cup songs I've heard. They used to have like official World Cup songs. England. Some of them are kind of cheesy. Right, that was the copy on the back, case. Hey? <laughs> I expected more. I was like, I, I expected, oh, they grew up in the same town and like, you know, in Midland, Hampshire, you know, like, but no. It was Cristiano Ronaldo. Jose Jimenez, maybe around the World Cup, I will, uh, and there's Chicharito. Maybe around then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll add some of those cheesy England World Cup songs. I like Chicharito. Great, great, Jose Jimenez for Uruguay. That goes to the Todd Father, 68 out of 149. We still haven't seen the hit yet, either an autograph or a low-numbered parallel, usually out of 20 or 15 or something like that, or lower or less or fewer. Messi, Ochoa, and Radmel Falcao Garcia for Colombia. Purple parallel going to... Sexy Rexy, 6 out of 99. Uh, Hayes with this 
messy base. I'm sure that'll go for like five bucks or something like that. It's just because it has that guy's name on it. We're getting close to the World Cup. Dembele for France. Le Bleu. And we've got, oh, for Colombia, look at this, Rex. I don't think Rex even knows anything about soccer. He just wanted to break. You've got Carlos Valderrama. There you go. Old school Colombian. Right here. Evolving into Colombian player of the century. Nonetheless, that's how legendary this dude is. I always remember him by his hair. All right, nice one, Rex. Was that your last bot? No, La your last bot mojo is Austria, Chile, but solid. <laughs> Rex is like, I know nothing, but that's sweet. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Appreciate you filling it up, too. Um, I have not seen any Eden Hazards. Not yet, Paul. Not seeing any Eden Hazard for he would be for Belgium, right? If I'm not mistaken. Eden Hazard. I feel like his He is, he is Belgium. I feel like his progress was a little limited at at Chelsea. He was supposed to be In my head I thought he'd be a bigger star. I guess he is, but Belgium could be an interesting team in a Z-World Cup. Just knocking my camera around. Are they even in the world? Maybe they're not in the World Cup. Oh, this is, I'm still looking at 2022. What group is Belgium in? Oh, they're in a group. They should be able to get out of their group. Belgium, Panama, Tunisia, England. It's gotta be Belgium, Belgium, uh, in England advancing, right? The top two of that group. Panama put up a good fight. Can't see Tunisia doing, doing much, but. Yeah, he totally didn't live up to tape, but still, still a solid star, says Paul. I agree. I think he should have been playing somewhere other than Chelsea. Might have, might have helped too. You guys know who the who the Shohei Otani of the World Cup four years ago was? This guy, Hamas Rodriguez. He also got paid too. Got paid. Not gonna see him. I think he he uh, he did his knee, as they say in England. Some sort of ligaments, but Liverpool man. He's going to be missed in the Champions League match. And that goes to England. Moody with the three Lions. I haven't seen one of these camo parallels yet. There's Eric Dyer for the three lions. Six out of twenty. All right, so this this might be this might be considered the hit of the box. Let's see, or maybe we'll still get an autograph too. That'd be nice. There's Ivan Rakitic, Tomas Lemar. This will go to Croatia. That'll go to Rex. 20 out of 65. I'm 
Musaleta. And look at this, this is fun. Group D. Kinda wanna collect these cards. All the different groups. This will be randomized between Argentina, Iceland, Croatia, and Nigeria. The Group D countries. Argentina, Hayes, Iceland, Davy, Croatia, Rex, Nigeria, Hayes. So Hayes, you have a two out of four chance. Odds are in your favor. Let's see what happens at the end. Dries Martens, Mark Andre Der Stegen, Cristiano Ronaldo, Jotun, Jan Sommer. All right. Yeah, so then Eric Dyer would be considered the hit for the box. But I don't think th those are not, these cards are not very common either. I don't know who advances. Argentina, Iceland? Argentina, Croatia? Maybe Argentina, Nigeria? No, I'll bet Iceland doesn't make it out of that group. I'll bet it's going to be Argentina and then either Croatia or Nigeria. Man, I'm just knocking my camera all over the place. All right, last box. Uh, this is actually the last box of the case, too. Argentina, Croatia, says Hayes. I think so, too. Hayes, were you here earlier when we went through all the groups and everyone kind of made their, made their kind of off-the-cuff predictions on who would get out of each group? I don't, I don't remember if you were here or not. There will be another uh, four box break in the store. Jazzyshobbyland.com. Oh, well, we can play the game now. All right, ready? Group A Russia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Uruguay. I think I said Russia and Egypt, I think. Russia, because the home teams always seem to, you know, they have the home field advantage. I don't know if Uruguay is going to quite, maybe a little disappointing. I can't count out Liverpool's Mohamed Salah. So I said I said Russia, Egypt. Eventually, once I start getting more odds on this, well, that, that might change the way I, I bet these games. Uh, group B was Portugal, Spain, Morocco, Iran. I think we said Portugal, Spain should be pretty pretty chalk. I don't think I can see Morocco or Iran. Maybe maybe stunning anybody in the group. Maybe during a match they could get a draw somewhere, but I don't know if they're gonna. But that might be like the big victory for them and Morocco too. Group C was France, Australia, Peru, Denmark. I said France. France is gonna field a pretty good team, and then it's gotta be Peru or Denmark, right? Yeah, Peru. Russia might rig the whole World Cup. Um, France for sure. Then I think it's, it's got to be a toss-up between Peru and Denmark. Group D was Argentina, Iceland, Croatia, Nigeria. We just talked about that. I think Argentina for sure. Then probably Croatia or Nigeria. It's me. So you're going Russia, Uruguay. We got Ragnar Sigurdsson, not to be confused with Gilfie Sigurdsson. I know you. I know everyone was thinking, "Oh, is that Gilfie?" No, it's like, no, no, no. Come on, you got to know your Sigurdsons. That's Ragnar Sigurdsson. <sighs> Come on, you guys. You guys were thinking, "Oh, that's definitely that's just assumed it was Gilfie Sigurdsson." Can't do that. What all all Sigurdsons look alike to you? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Do 
There's Thomas Müller. That's another one. That's another low numbered one. And that goes to no, not that's not Thomas Müller. What all Thomases look alike? No, that's Thomas Munier. The Belgian. 14 out of 20. That goes to Maria with the Australia Belgium combo. I think Group E Brazil, Switzerland, Costa Rica, Serbia. I think Brazil, Avi. Brazil and Serbia, perhaps. There's Dembele. Cristiano, Deli Ali. There's Hichan Huang or Huang Hichan for Korea. 78 out of 149. Set that right there. They were great that one year. Uh, they were great that one year when Goose Hiddink, I think, was coaching their team and the world when the World Cup was in Korea, Japan. Um, we all know how that call was going to go. What a name, says Hayes. Ragnar. You'll ask your wife if we can name our first child Ragnar. We all know how that call was going to go. The, the convo is going to go. Mrs. Hayes Capers is going to be like, yes. I can imagine that conversation. So the guys over at Jaspi and I, we were talking, and uh, we got to thinking that I think Ragnar would be. Ah, here's a host city, Sochi. This will get randomized to someone, too. Everybody gets a chance at this. Is she there? Is, is Mrs. Capers there? Hi, Mrs. Hayes. Come on, the, a powerful name like Ragnar? Oh, she's asleep. I, listen, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I think... If she says yes, though, Hayes, like, that's, that's definitely, like... There he is again. If she says yes... To Ragnar? To Ragnar? Look at how boss that guy... That guy looks like... You don't want to cross that guy. Uh, that that this is the name of leaders, leaders of men, Hayes. If your wife agrees to it, I th I think you got to be like, I love you, honey. Second honeymoon, let's do this. House Tahiti. You know, maybe one of those places where you can sleep above the water. There's Rui Patricio for Portugal. That's Victor Z with that, 100 out of 199. It looks like that's it. There's Musileta for Uruguay. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, he does need more of a beard, perhaps an ax. <laughs> perhaps we're now envisioning a, 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 a Lord of the Rings type character for Ragnar now. 100 <laughs> Andy 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 I'm, I'm glad you weren't here because boss man was was very gleeful about that he was he was he was very gleeful about the Eagles moving ahead of the Cowboys and then picking up a tight end whose name is Dallas You might not have shopped with us again for like a month <laughs> out of anger. All right, let's set up the randomizer. Okay, so first one was the uh, was the Argentina, Iceland, Croatia, and uh, Nigeria, and then everyone actually has a shot at the the bonus card. Let's re-enter the list again. Uh, of uh, beautiful Sochi, actually, where they had the Winter Olympics. Sochi, a resort city on the Black Sea, known as the Russian Riviera. Welcome the world again four years after uh, hosting the 2014 Winter Games. The FIFA World Cup dropped in. The fans soaked up the area's mountains and coastline. As its FIFA World Cup poster suggests, soccer would mesh with beaches and rugged peaks. 
It's a pretty looking card, actually. I'd like to collect those as well out of Prism World Cup, this year's World Cup. All right, let's roll the dice. Four and a two, six times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and I said six, right? Yeah, one more time. Croatia on top. Rex. There you go, Rex. You get the you get the group D. You got the D, Rex. Alright. Four and a two, six times, because we're twelve. One, one, two, three, four, five, and six. The last the name on top after six times will be Hayes. Hayes with beautiful Sochi. Hayes, you should collect. You should make the set. I don't know how many of these there are. These look kind of cool, though, right? All right, so there you go, folks. That's it. More soccer in the store. JaspiesHobbyLand.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Bye-bye.